Hello, my name is Jenna Brown and in this short film I'm going to talk you through a grounding exercise for helping you to deal with performance anxiety and other forms of nervousness. In this film I'm going to talk you through some of the strategies we're going to use in this exercise and then at the end I'll talk you through the whole sequence so you can see how it flows together and think about how it might be useful for you in your particular circumstance. All of the exercises put together in this film are going to help contribute to the calming and reassuring of your nervous system. So that if you feel yourself going into fight, flight or freeze mode, these exercises will help you to reassure both your mind and your body that you are safe, you are secure and that nothing is going to happen that will be bad for you. So the first thing to do is to really ground yourself in a safe emotional state and that means getting rid of any negative emotion negative energy or tension in the body and also in the nervous system and to do that we're going to shake out starting with the arms and then moving down into the feet and the legs and then a whole body shake this will help to release any of that negative energy and help you to be able to move on to the next stage in the process in terms of grounding the breath Following the shakeout, we're then going to ground ourselves in the space and reassure your subconscious mind and your nervous system that you are safe, that nothing in the space that you are in is going to hurt you. It might feel like that and your body might be clicking into that response where it wants to run away or hide or feels under threat. And we're going to reassure it that this is not the case. Of course, if when you're doing this exercise, you do find that you really don't feel safe perhaps something in the room is triggering a traumatic memory for you or a previous experience or perhaps there is a genuine risk to your safety or the safety of others then the thing you need to do is leave that space as quickly and as safely as possible and take yourself to somewhere where you can calm yourself if appropriate you might need to go and seek the safety and reassurance of others but for now working in what we assume is a normal safe space for you whether that's your home in a studio or in a theatre setting or a concert hall we're going to start by looking around us to each direction so that is to either side that is going to be forward and behind us and up to the ceiling and down to the floor we're going to make this movement very slow, very considered and deliberate. And as we're doing it, as we stop in each position, we're going to say to ourselves, either out loud if appropriate, or to yourself in your head, we're going to say, I am safe, everything is okay. So for example, we would look to one side, taking in everything that you can see in your field of vision here, including anything in your peripheral vision. We look there and say, I am safe and I'm okay. And then we would repeat that or words similar to those. You can come up with your own reassuring words based around those if it feels better for you. We're going to then look around all those points, really making sure we take all the space that's within our field of vision into account at whatever point we're looking at. Following that, we're then going to ground ourselves in our breath. So we're going to take a few moments to just notice how our breathing is, take some mindful awareness to what is going on in the moment. You don't need to change your breath or do anything differently. This is simply noticing. Now, because we want to help calm and reassure your nervous system as quickly and as efficiently as possible so that you can continue with the work you need to do, we want to move through that noticing mindful present moment state to deepening the breath. So we're going to breathe in through the nose slowly for a count of four. And then we're going to breathe out for a count of eight. And you can repeat that several times and we'll do that together at the end of my explanations when we put this sequence in flow. 
The main thing to consider when you're working on releasing the breath in this way is that your exhale wants to be twice as long as your inhale. So if a count of four and an exhale of eight feels too long or too tricky for you, or perhaps not long enough, you can modify that to be a count of two and an exhale of four, an inhale of three, an exhale of six, and so on and so forth. The important thing is that it's working, you feel it calming your system down, that it feels easy and that it feels relaxing. You may notice that your shoulders start to come down. You may notice some release around your abdominals, perhaps in your glutes. Perhaps you might notice an unlocking of your knees if they've been in a tense position. So we slowly ground our breath in this way, taking a few moments to do this. The final step of this is to really ground ourselves in our situation where we're standing, to ground ourselves on the earth, to feel completely supported, held and cradled, using gravity to help us get this sensation so that we realize and our nervous system realizes we don't have to fight against anything. We can just be held and grounded in the present moment. And so when the breathing has been done, we're going to take our awareness down into our feet to start thinking about how this might all be affecting our posture. And we're going to take our weight forward into our toes, making sure that the heel of your foot stays in contact with the ground as you do that. So we're not going onto our tiptoes. This is a gentle forward movement. And when we've lingered there for a moment and taken a breath in that position, we're going to rock backwards so that the weight comes into our heels. Again, with the toes remaining in contact with the floor. So we're not lifting them up. We're keeping the muscles very loose and relaxed and gentle. This is not a stretch. And then we'll come forwards and then backwards, repeating that sequence a few times until finally we come to rest in the middle in our point of balance. Hopefully this will have helped you feel really grounded, really strong and rooted like a tree. So what we're going to do now is link this sequence together so that you can see how it might work for you as a flow sequence. It might be that there are elements of this that have a better effect for you, and you might have other exercises and strategies already that you'd like to join to these. So really, I'm just making a suggestion of how you might use this as a quick fire go-to grounding in those situations of high anxiety and stress. So taking a moment to stand yourself up in your space, make sure you have room for a little bit of shaking and stretching out of your arms and your legs. We're going to go through our grounding exercise. So the first thing we're going to do is shake off that nervous, tense, anxious energy, starting with the arms and the hands, shaking them, and then the other side, and then together, and bringing them all the way down and taking them back up and bringing them back down. And now we're going to take that shake into our legs. So we're going to shake out the right leg first, not forgetting the foot as well. And we might circle the foot in either direction as we shake the leg. Then moving into the other leg, shaking all that energy out, circling the foot in one direction and in another and then returning to the whole body, alternate legs and arms, really shaking. You might even feel that you want to add some circling of the hips into this movement as well to release any tension that might be there in the body. Now we're going to reassure ourselves that we are in a safe space. If you're not, then now would be the time for you to move to somewhere that does feel safe. So slowly, we're going to start by looking ahead of us. We're going to look to each corner and all the way along, that's in our vision, including as far as is possible into your peripheral vision. And then taking that down towards the ground to the lower corner, along to the opposite corner on that ground, and back up and then scanning in front of us. And as we do this, we're going to say, I am safe, everything is okay. I am safe and everything is okay. 
Now we're going to repeat that, looking to one side. And as we scan this, we say, I am safe and everything is okay. To the next side. I am safe and everything is okay. And then look behind you and we say, I am safe and everything is okay. Turning around, we now look to the ceiling to remind ourselves that we are in a safe space above us as well as around us. And we say, I am safe and everything is okay. And finally, we look to the ground beneath us to remind our body and our mind that we are held and supported. And we say, I am safe and everything is okay. And now we take our awareness internally to our breath, staying in the present moment, mindful of what is happening now. You may like to close your eyes or soften your gaze towards the floor. And notice the rate of your breath, the depth of your breath. and slowly breathing in through the nose for a count of four. One, two, three, four. And exhaling for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling through the nose, one, two, three, four, exhaling, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling, one, two, three, four, exhaling, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Once more, inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Taking another moment in the mindful presence to notice how your breathing is now. And with that calmer, more relaxed sense of self, we're going to take our awareness down into our feet and to the ground which is holding and supporting us and cradling us with comfort, stability and security. We're going to take our weight gently forwards into our toes, keeping our heels in contact with the ground. Take a breath in here, inhale and exhale. And slowly taking the weight back into the heels, keeping the toes in contact with the ground, secure like the roots of a tree. Inhaling here, and exhaling. And we repeat that, coming forwards again into the toes, inhaling and exhaling, and then returning back to the weight in the heels, keeping the toes connected to the ground as well. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time coming forward into the toes with an inhale and an exhale to the heels with an inhale and an exhale. 
And finally, finding our balance point in the middle, that secure, strongly rooted, grounded sense of self, of body, of breath, of mind, of connection to the moment. Thank you. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and share. It helps us get a much wider reach.